When I was doing my year training classes in music university, there was always this one interval that I could not figure out. The perfect fourth descending. What I did was to find a melody that started with this interval so that I could have some reference. Your question now, are professionals really doing this? Yes, they are. In this video, I want to share with you famous movie scores that can help you identify all intervals. Let's start with the prime, it's actually too easy, but I still give you an example, the Imperial March from Star Wars. And you have it directly at the beginning. Do you think you can be a good musician without knowing intervals? I don't think so. Intervals help you with sight reading, learning new pieces, composing, phrasing, pretty much every aspect of music. So I don't think there's a good reason to not learn them. For the ascending minor second you can take the famous part from Jaws. Generally speaking, this is the smallest interval we have in Western music, so if you don't think there's any other note in between, it's probably minor second. Another example is from Harry Potter, Hogwarts Forever. And you can find the minor second directly at the beginning after the prime. For the minor second descending, you can take London Calling from Star Trek Into Darkness. You find it directly here at the beginning. What you do when you can't figure out an interval, you take the one note where you have to start and then you just try to sing the melody on top. Even if it's a completely different key, it usually works very well. This is the main theme from the new Star Trek movies. And you can find the major second also directly at the beginning. If you do know the major scale, and I guess you know it, the major second is the first step in the major scale. Also directly at the beginning. I guess the sooner the interval you're looking for appears in a melody, the easier it is. Because you don't have to go through all the notes you don't need and you can directly start with the right note. Here we have Star Wars again. Why? Because everyone knows it and everybody loves it. And this is the Imperial Attack. Also here at the beginning. This is maybe not the easiest example I could have chosen. Here's an easy example that everybody knows. Directly at the beginning. The minor third is also known for being the cuckoo motive. Here we have the Magnificent Seven. We also find the major third directly at the beginning. If you know your chords, the major third is also the first interval of the major chord. This video is sponsored by nobody, we don't have any sponsors yet, so you might consider subscribing, it would mean the world to us. For descending we have again the Imperial March from Star Wars. After the prime. Another very famous example is Beethoven's Appassionata. Here the first interval is a major third and then a minor third and together it's a minor chord. This intro is super helpful to learn the minor chord. To this day this is my reference. I love this next piece, Transformers Arrival to Earth, with this amazing fifth sequence ascending.
and the fourth is also here directly at the beginning. Other famous examples are the Star Wars main theme and the Harry Potter main theme. For descending, I couldn't find the melody that directly started with the perfect fourth down, but in the Star Wars main theme we can find two prominent examples a bit later. And we can find it here. The one reference that I always used was from Franz Schubert's Winterreise, Der Leiermann. Here directly at the beginning. Also known as the devil in music, the tritone is a very dissonant interval that most of the time wants to resolve itself into the fifth. For ascending we have Maria from Leonard Bernstein's West Side Story, probably the most famous tritone ever composed. Maria, I've just met a girl named Maria. And here it does also resolve itself into the fifth. Maria. You probably didn't notice yet, but the Mission Impossible music and also the theme, they are full of tritones. It's the second time. Especially Fallout, there are so many. I have two examples. This one is a lot of the rings. And you find it directly at the beginning. And then from the Mandalorian theme, by the way, great piece of music. These are just perfect fifth. For descending, I couldn't come up with a film score that is very memorable, but I have one from classical music. This is Bruckner's Fourth Symphony, beginning of the first movement. For every interval that descends more than a fifth, I would recommend you to go down a fifth and then the rest of the interval that is remaining. Why? Because there are not much melodies, or should I say non-melodies, that start with an interval greater than a fifth. Music is most of the time made to be singable, so that's the reason why we don't have huge intervals descending because it's just very difficult to sing. So just use an interval that you feel comfortable with and keep going on from there until you reach the note that you desire. With time you will get faster and you don't need to do this as much. Here we have again Star Wars with the love theme from Padman Anakin. And the minor sixth is also directly at the beginning here. Such a beautiful melody. Probably the greatest usage of the minor 6 in all music I've ever heard, maybe even the greatest melody I've ever heard. As I said before, there are no good examples for intervals greater than the 5th descending, so in this case just take the 5th and go down a minor 2nd more, because this is what's missing for the minor 6th. The major 6th is again Star Wars with Princess Leia's theme. and you find the interval directly at the beginning. The greater the interval, the more difficult it is to recognize and to sing them. That is normal. If you want to level up your ear training, what really helped me, it sounds stupid, but play those melodies on an instrument or just two notes, and here's the important part, listen very carefully. How do those two notes differ? How far away from each other are they? And then turn it the other way around, play some intervals by yourself, or try to figure out a melody where you don't know the intervals and notes yet. It is not easy to find melodies with these kind of intervals, but the most prominent one here is somewhere from Bernstein's West Side Story. There's a 
place for us Somewhere a place for us And it's also directly at the beginning There's a, there's a place for us What really helped me was to check whether I'm right or not So I would just play the interval And I would go up two semitones And if I would be at the octave I knew I was right If not, I at least knew by how much I missed Depending on which interval you use, you can also check with the fifth or the third, but the minor seventh is closer to the octave. And the octave is very easy to hear because it's basically the same note as the other one. And when you play something like this, it also feels like a resolution. There are two very prominent examples. One is Jurassic Park. You have this huge interval. And because this is so close to the octave, this also feels like a resolution and it's very easy to check with the octave. The other example is in the middle of Yoda's theme. One last interval from Harry Potter, Harry's Wondrous World. And you find it directly at the beginning. If you like a good challenge, I need you to go watch this video right now. In this video, I give you one random bar each from 15 different movie scores and you can see if you recognize them or not. Do you accept the challenge? Thanks for watching and we see each other on the next one.